Previously, we created a route resource and designated the controller as movies controller. However, we haven't actually created the controller yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's open up the terminal and then type in the command to make a new controller. Looks like it was created, so let's go take a look. It's going to be under app controllers HTTP. Project, all right, app controllers HTTP, and we see movies controller.ts. Let's go ahead and open that up. So for our controller, let's start by importing the movie model. I'm going to import movie from app forward slash models forward slash movie. If we look back at routes.ts, we're only including the index and show routes. So let's make sure we have those defined in our movies controller. We'll first start by creating index. So public async index. Okay, let's add in const movies equals await movie.all. And what this is is basically a shorthand query that's going to return all the movies from the database. And now let's return that when index is called. Now let's go ahead and add a method for show. Public async show. And for show, we're going to want to refer to the parameters that are sent back. Now let's add const movie equals await movie, and then we'll use the find function, and then pass in params.id. Then we'll want to return that movie. For show, we're only going to return the data for a movie by the movie ID, and that's what we have here. All right, perfect. Now we have our movie controller all built out.